This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. So the Triple White Yeezys come out this coming weekend, next weekend, in seven days. And like most of you guys, I really want them. I don't have a plug for them, so I'm looking around on Instagram and I see Foot Locker Canada. They're like, hey, we're releasing them. And there's the launch locator showing you what locations are getting the shoes. So I click on the link for the launch locator. I'm not expecting any to be in Winnipeg, like Winnipeg never gets them. But anyway, I search up what stores are getting them in Canada, and then I see this store right up there in the middle of nowhere. Like that's Calgary, that's Vancouver, that's Montreal, that's Toronto, those are all huge cities with over a million people. And then what the heck is that in the middle of nowhere? So I click on this Foot Locker in the middle of nowhere, and I click on the street view, this Foot Locker is literally a field and and a bench too there's a bench at this foot locker but the, what what there's no foot locker this is literally an open field and a bench i'm willing to put some money that there are no yeezys releasing there this saturday Who Kanye West is listening to some old songs from artists that I really don't like anymore in fact artists that I still like the realization that I've come to is just that I prefer at least when it comes to like 90% of artists their first three albums over the rest of their albums and you think it would be like the opposite because you think they get better over time Except it seems as they get more popular, I just don't like it as much to be completely honest. Like this is no shots at any particular artist, but listen to old Kanye. First three albums of Nas. Fire stuff. It goes for almost all my favorite artists, even stuff that's not rap. Rise Against, Avenged Sevenfold. First three albums. NBA playoffs though. NBA playoffs. Is this one of the most exciting first rounds ever or am I just crazy? I am crazy, except I also think it is one of the most exciting first rounds ever. Like, it is amazing. Cleveland's gonna sweep the Pacers, Golden State is going to sweep the Trailblazers, and then besides that, like, Clippers is probably gonna go seven, Spurs is probably gonna go six or seven if I had to guess, Raptors is gonna go six or seven. Like, they're a competitive series in the first round. I can't wait till the second round. If the first round is this good, how good is the second? Oh, what's up? What's up, sir? How you doing? I'm long doing good. I haven't, see. yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Since huh? the last sneaker con, pretty much. Pretty, wow, yeah, that's been a, Wow, it's, it's like, like a almost a month and a half. New one's coming up, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, we got a new sneaker con this week. <laughs> Are you returning today, man? These stupid shoes. What's so stupid about these? I liked them, and then I looked at them the next day. I'm like, damn, these are dumb. I was I gonna mean, rock them too. I, it took me putting them on my feet, and I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the. I, I like the quilting on them. I like the, I like the little. It looks like spikes or like fish scales or. They look so good in the store. They look so cool. They're knockoffs of easy. <laughs> It's not a bad thing, okay? Buy them if you like them, but this is just, the, the upper is so cool, the midsole kills it. Put this on boot, imagine if they put like this type of material on an Ultra Boost. What? Stops you, like obviously a little bit. Yeah, we'll story about this one. Stops on weekends. Mm. Seriously, how are these? These are beautiful, buy them. We're not here for Champ Sports, but while Brandon's returning the shoes, these black ones are a little bit better too. These are on sale. You know I'm a fan of Hirachis. One nineteen ninety nine. that's like, 90, 87 dollars Canadian or American. I'm a fan. of it. They feel like sort of stormtrooper-ish, and then they got the gray and black. Hirachis are super comfy. If you don't have a pair of Hirachis, try them out. Just give them a chance. Super comfortable. I bought these, and everyone hated. What do you think of these? I like they're dope. Yeah, right. Like it's like a summer version of the Jordan One. They look Everyone's cool. like, dude, these are the ugliest things. <laughs> Chill, bro. Everyone has their own opinions on. I think these are really nice. You a fan of those? I was actually just gonna check those out. I like this. I like I like how there's a little print on them. That's the same with like the red ones that I have. I don't like I I don't like the swoosh though. The swoosh kills it for me. How it's like exactly what I was I was looking at this one. I was like that looks this like yeah right. I'm really really surprised these didn't sell out. Like I thought these are gonna foam posits are dead. I guess I guess that's what you take from this. Whew, look how shiny these are. Just, I love these shoes. I'm so glad I was able to pick these up. Love them, love them. If you guys want to pick up a pair of foams, there's tons of colorways sitting. What the heck? The Royals are still sitting too. These are the best. Huh? You should pick those up. That's a shoe you would actually like wear around. I don't know if I could. I can't. I can't. These go on discount. 
I will 100% buy, I know I say that about a lot of shoes, but then they just don't end up going on, I don't know. I really, really like these. That little, ooh, scales, ooh, 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 blue. Uh, I always drop shoes, why do I always drop shoes? I always drop shoes. You have to buy one pair of shoes on the Nike wall, what you choosing man? Really? Yeah. Good job. I like these a lot. Good job. Really I'm cool. a huge fan. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm really considering buying these. I really like them. I'd play basketball in those ones. I don't feel like that's one I could wear around. I'd play basketball in those. I don't feel those. like they're a good basketball shoe. They're, they're made for basketball. Funky. Really? The Bulls went like 72 them. and 10 when Scotty Pippen was wearing those. Yo. I really like these. Do you like these? Brandon, what are, you, what are your thoughts on these? I like the, the opalescent or whatever pearlescent, but I don't like the shoe. I really like these. These are really, I, I really Force. like these. You, you hate Air Forces? Like these are super cool. It's like a pearlescent, like it feels like if you put your thumb on it, it would heat up like a mood ring. 140 bucks. <laughs> these are cool. No problem. Thanks for watching, man. All right, you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching. You're in tomorrow's vlog. Oh, I got bad news, guys. They don't have the shoes I wanted to take a look at. This is really disappointing. I should have, like, this is why you call ahead and see if your Foot Locker is actually getting shoes before you show up. We went to the mall to take a look at a pair of shoes they don't have. What a waste of time. I'm gonna solve this problem. We're gonna take a look at the pair of shoes at home. Because we need to talk about these. Oh, and they got a yellow one too. As the kids say, Fuego. And they got a black one. So small, this is fire. Raspberry is fire. Small. Medium. Extra large. Yes, yellow hoodie. <laughs> Y'all have. Yeah. Urban Outfitters changes their color of their bag. Like, it, it was black for years. Yeah. And then it was teal for like a month, and now it's orange. I bought another champion hoodie. This is very yellow. Like, really yellow. This has nothing to do with the hype of champion hoodies. You guys disagree with me all you want. We need to talk about that pair of shoes, though. Oh boy, do we need to talk about that pair of shoes. Let's get home and talk about that pair of shoes. All right, so let's talk about these shoes. Now, most of you guys are probably still sitting here wondering what the heck these shoes are. Well, the shoes are these right here. The Jordan 4 Pinnacle Premium all white everything but the colorway doesn't have to do anything with it it's a nice pair of shoes I really like how the shoes look I'm a fan of Jordan 5's I know it's not one of the most popular models but I like the Jordan 5's the point here is they cost 400 freaking dollars that is ridiculous four hundred dollars for a pair of Jordan brand shoes and that's not the main reason I don't want you to buy this particular pair of shoes and I'm not saying boycott Jordan brand I'm explaining the pricing motivation from brands and when you complain that a shoe is too expensive this is why that shoe is too expensive so what Jordan brand has done here and I commend them for doing this a amazing amazing job in terms of marketing pricing and creating making the market comfortable with such a high price if you guys remember the Jordan shine released summer 2014 T 20, 2014, summer 2014, the Jordan Shine released, and it was a woven leather luxury Jordan shoe, and it either retailed for $375 or $400, and everyone was freaking out about how expensive this was. How is Jordan Brand going to price a shoe at $375, $400? That is ridiculous. Jordan Brand does not belong in the luxury sneaker market. Jordan Brand can't compete at that price point. Barney's is stocking the Jordan Shine like this was the topic of conversation around this shoe, that was $400. And now, $400 has become commonplace because guess what happened? People bought the Jordan Shine. Not everyone bought it, it didn't sell out at $400, except it doesn't need to sell it at $400 for Jordan Brand to price it at that. They probably only need to sell 20, 30% of their stock at full retail price point to make it worth pricing it at that level. And what sucks now is that they've created the expectation and the normalcy of $400 sneakers. If you guys remember seeing those copper statue looking Jordan 11s, those are probably gonna be $400. All gold Jordan 11s, $400. Every cool pair of Jordans that comes out, $400. What, what is going on with my light? My light is seriously like, look at this. Like what, what is, it's blinking. Does that mean it's low on battery? Maybe it mean, it probably means it's low on battery. I'd encourage you to not buy them for $400 because if everyone does the exact same thing, guess what? They're gonna go on sale, you can get them for a cheaper price. So if it's a sneaker that you want, wait for it to go to a lower price and hopefully enough people do that. The same thing happened with the Nike Elite Basketball. 
What they did is the first year they retailed for $250 of the LeBrons and they sold out, bam, because they were cool colorways, everyone liked them. Then the LeBron 10s came out with the Elites and only one colorway sold out and the rest started to go on clearance. And the LeBron 11 Elites, people started to get sick and tired of these ridiculous $275 sneakers, so they stopped buying them for that price. And what Nike was forced to do was with the LeBron 12, they lowered the price of the Elite model. No, wait, LeBron 12, no, LeBron 13. They lowered the price of the Elite model to the same price as the regular model, and now we're seeing that with all Elite models from Nike Basketball. I hope you enjoyed today. It was just a little bit of a relaxed Sunday, nothing too crazy going on, but tomorrow, stay tuned for tomorrow, some awesome stuff. We're gonna be taking a look at some never-before-seen merch that I'm gonna be releasing. We're gonna be going sneaker shopping at some outlet malls, which is amazing. That's something we don't get to do very often. But a couple of you guys reminded me that I have not shown you an on-foot of these, yet and I am sort of the best Jordan 1 collector on YouTube so I will show you an on foot of these guys have a great rest of your day and until next time peace